Okay, here we are back at this repair. We obviously know we need a lot of plaster in here uh, and we need to reseat the device. And we also need to get it done as quickly as possible. We're on the job, time is clicking away. All right, we want to be able to lift the device away from the wall just far enough so we can get our fingers underneath the ears of the device like so. This will allow us enough room to get plaster underneath. Now we put the device, the ops unit on the device, covering it like so. We get the strap on, across like so. Up, okay, that one gave me a little bit of a fight. We need to be able to use this for power. So we go ahead and we plug in our plugs so that our tools have power on the other side. And make sure that that's nice and secure like so. And also the red line is right at the electrical box. You can see I am actually touching this. We don't have anything to be concerned with here. Okay, now I've already mixed up my mud and I really don't need a whole lot. In fact, I know this is going to be way too much. But anyway, let's go ahead and get it done. So we get some mud up at the bottom. We get a good amount on our blade to get underneath the ears here at this side. We want to make sure and get this done. Now we make we plastering it. only to the original wall surface. We're not building up the wall at all where we're going to have to feather the patch. As soon out. as that Durabon 20 is dry enough to sand, uh, we'll get that sanded, primered, and painted. Okay, here we are at this beautifully finished repair done with OPS, the Outlet Plastering Safety Shield. We've had power throughout the duration of the repair. Let's just remove these plugs first, like so. Then we want to just take off the OPS strap, like so. And then let's take a look and see what kind of repair we have. We take the cover off. Oh man, look at how nice and straight that all is. And that is all the way to the electrical box. That is a solid repair that we don't have to worry about for years to come. And you know what? If I'm the painter that just did this, I was able to make an extra 25 or 30 bucks. If I was the electrician that just did this repair, I was able to make an extra 25 or 30 bucks and maybe even save my client 150 bucks for not having to call the painter. Anyway, let's get the cover plate on that. Look at that. The outlet is seated properly on the wall so it's not at all sunken in the cover plate. We have plaster all the way around and that is a beautifully repaired, beautifully finished job.